Tostitos, and Melts, Ragu, Green Giant, Tostitos, and lots more of your favorites. All at special Cardbuster savings. So be sure to look for the Cardbuster tag store wide and hurry in for all the savings at your neighborhood Kroger, where you get more value for the week. So, 
if you don't mind, I'll just we'll just chat while he's gone. Uh -huh. um, so he got a call warning him the president was going to call. Yeah, he got a call prior, I guess, from some White House staff uh, that he was going to be receiving a call from the president. And uh, you know, we went to lunch to give him some you know some time, peace, and quiet. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the president was a little, I guess, a little late on the call, and you know him, he's keep him level-headed let's get back to work I'll stop when I get the call so we're on our way back to work you know he's out in the field and then he gets the call and stops does his business and he's back at work you know it wasn't like he went to his head and he's got to go home and celebrate he's back at work just like it was nothing <laughs> all right um, so working with him every single day how long you been working with him uh, I guess he's been with us now. Let's look over at my hand. I guess he's been with us now for I'd say maybe three months, maybe going on four months. And uh, I mean, he's the type of person where it seems like you work with him for a lifetime. He's just down to earth, makes you feel comfortable from the first day you met him. Uh, great to work with. Great to work with. Easy to get to know. Oh heck yeah, heck yeah. It's like I said, it's you know you meet him one time, you, you feel like you've known him forever. He's just real good person. He doesn't. Uh... He didn't talk about much that happened, though? No, he really don't. Uh, if you ask him, he's more than willing. But I think sometimes it's, I guess, you know, you could tell maybe sometimes it may get to him. You know, like, you know, the guys he was with that he, you know, pulled out of there. You know, he was, it was like brothers to him, you know. So you kind of respect it. You know, it's, it's big and in the media now and a big celebration. But to him, it's a lot more than that. So... It's kind of something you just kind of maybe give him a little space from, and right. if he's willing to talk about it, and go from there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hard to say. I mean, where where do you? Something like this is is very very rare. So I mean, where do you where do you see him in ten years? You know, after all of this. Oh man, it's hard to say with him. I mean, like I said, he's so level headed with it. Uh, he don't seem like the person that's going to take all this fame and media and try to do something wild and crazy. Like I said, here he is working in the field, driving a bobcat with us. You know, he and you know he's got phone call after phone call from offers to do other things and you know a lot of big time opportunities. But he's just the type of guy. It seems like he's just going to keep going where he, you know what he's doing. It's like kind of hard to say, but honestly, I think he can do anything. He's uh, he's that type of person. He's, he's talked about how often his phone rings. I mean, when you guys are driving around, you know, going to jobs. Oh, and... yeah. Uh, it's nonstop, you know, since the announcement's been made. Uh, he told me on the way here that every day it's more and more. Uh, he said the past couple of days that he's received anywhere from 150, 200 phone calls a day, you know, since this has happened. You know, he's, he's out here working. He don't let it get to him stop every five seconds. You know, he gets to it when he can, but... And I don't know what they all are, but like I said, that's a lot of attention and a lot of, I guess, a lot of pressure because he's got to get his job done. He's got to work, but he's also got this, you know, it's a big thing. It's, you know, it's not something small to ignore, but to him, if you didn't know him and know what was going on, you wouldn't know he's going through what he's going through because he just, like I said, he's real level-headed with it. You think he's uh, considered, how old are you? I'm 28. I'm 28 I believe he's so 23. Yeah. Yeah. So... He's still young. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. I mean, it's there's no telling what lies ahead for him, but whatever that is. I mean, there's a lot that he's got to handle, though, at a young age. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, with no advisors. Exactly. Yeah, and like I keep mentioning being, him being so level-headed, uh, I don't think it's anything that will get to him or anything that will bother him. Uh, he just goes with it. Does it feel good working with a guy like this, though? I mean, you know what he did. Mm -hmm. And how he's never ever going to leave anybody yeah you know and he's always going to take care of the guys who are with him oh yeah he's definitely a person uh i mean you're in the field with him you guys aren't in comp but you're in the field mm -hmm. you know it's got to feel good being in the field with a guy like that yeah i mean he's definitely a guy that yeah, i don't think words have to be said but i think anybody that works with him or, or knows him or been around him family members to friends they know he's there for him no matter what. I think once you know the guy, he's there for you. Uh, I don't think there's anything he wouldn't do to help you out if you're ever in need.